hear how quiet it is? Okay, this is our uh, coffee Thursday meet and I have no coffee. Um, the coffee is up there. I wanted to film myself making the coffee while having a chat with you and then I realized uh, I am a man and I can't multitask, can't do two things at the same time. So I'm going to try and put on my socks and shoes. Maybe I can uh, figure that one out while talking and the coffee will have to be for another day. There you go. So what's our topic for this week, you wonder? Well, I thought maybe we should talk about YouTube because I'm actually having a bit of an anniversary on YouTube, um, six months on. And um, just wanted to have a chat about what YouTube means to me and what it could mean to other people. I jokingly said in a previous video that, um, you know, I was going to make a video about why I hate YouTube. <laughs> and the, f the jury is still out on that one, really. I keep on getting these um, suggestions in, on my homepage about people who love YouTube and, you know, keep on saying how lovely and how great it is and how it changed their lives with only 500 subscribers. And I'm just not that positive. Maybe I'm just not a positive guy in general, but... <sighs> now, if I have to believe the, um, the YouTube analytics, I created this account in 2017, but... I've only been a consumer of YouTube for for that many years. I never really created any content. The only, well, the first content I started creating was during the famous lockdown years when I was a teacher and I was asked by my school to make little videos for my pupils so that they were entertained in one way, but also they could get some some educational value out of uh, out of me because since uh, the state was paying me my wages, I better do something. So I created those um, those little clips with uh, tasks for my pupils to make. Uh, it was English in those days and German as a foreign language. And um, you can still find them somewhere. I've posted a little uh, Throwback Thursday um, channel uh, on my channel and uh, go and have a look if you want to see me like four years ago teaching English and or German um, via the wonderful world of YouTube to 15, 16, 17 year olds who um, were locked up in their houses, in their rooms and uh, the world was a strange place. That was me being a consumer basically, like you. I, I like I like YouTube and the more and more I watch YouTube the more and more it replaces my day-to-day -day television usage really. I'm not sure about you but mainstream TV doesn't really have much to offer anymore so I, I do turn to YouTube to to find alternative uh, views, to find alternative entertainment, humor. There's a lot here and Let's be honest, we all come to YouTube when we want to learn something. If we, we don't know something, we will type in the how to, how to do this, how to do that, how to start van life. That's how I started with that question. And look at me now. So, like I said, I've got a bit of a, 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 a six month anniversary, not as a consumer, but as a creator. And since YouTube was so nice to put me into their um, creator community, um, I thought um, <laughs> I'd better be a bit respectful to YouTube, shouldn't I? Because they are kind of my employer at the moment because I am making money. And last time we spoke, I told you that I had made like 12 euros um, on YouTube. Well, that has now shot up to 35 euros. So you see, I am making it big on YouTube. But there is criticism after all, I guess, really. Where shall we start with the criticism? Mm, let me, let's go for a walk. I am in Holland, by the way, just that you know. Now, I have a Belgian background. Belgians are famous for their frites, their fries, 
which in America are called French fries, but actually they're frites, they're Belgian fries. So now I'm in Holland, which is not Belgium, and I'm on a potato field, which is all very bizarre now, because potatoes, fries, frites, French fries, Belgian, it's all a bit weird. The sun is out, let's, uh, let's walk through the field. So, YouTube. Um, oh, there's a couple of negatives towards YouTube, especially my, um, I'm not, let me rephrase that a bit, or let me try and phrase that in a nicer way. We've all had in our past work lives, like bosses that were, they weren't abusive, but in they could, you know, put this like little psycho games on you. Um, I, f I remember my very, very first job where um, I had to share an office with five women. And to be quite honest, um, that was for me as a young 23 year old, that was kind of really like psychothera every day. And no, I'm not comparing YouTube to like a, an oppressive boss, but they do have a way of telling you you're not doing a good job. Well, they are telling you in one way, like, oh, you're a good job. You do, you do, you, you're good in your analytics and all that. But then they keep on pointing out these other channels, sort of saying like, oh, this is what you should do if you're stuck at 500 subscribers, or this is what you need to do when nobody's watching your videos. Well, that really doesn't really boost your confidence, does it? And they keep on targeting you with that, those channels. And then when you click on those channels, they always have something to sell. They always have something to sell. And they always compare. And that is a joke, really. We are now in July 2024. It is a bit of a joke. But all those channels are always using Mr. Beast. You know, Mr. Beast as the perfect example. Well, Google Mr. Beast now. <laughs> There's a lot of turmoil going on there. And then when you find out that all of a sudden this is... This is not just a one guy with a YouTube channel. This is a whole corporation with employees and lawyers and all that. And well, how can I compare, compare to that? I can't even aspire to that. I don't even want to aspire to that. But YouTube keeps on pushing you that like content. So it's like making you feel a bit little. And you know, who wants to feel, who wants to be made feel little by their employer? Another thing that I've noticed, especially with my students, is attention span. Our attention span is getting shorter and shorter and shorter. And so is mine, and that is really bizarre. I never had Netflix, but um, a friend of mine gave me his password. Well, I'm sure it's illegal by now, but he once gave me his password, and then I logged on. And there was so much choice. I mean, there was so much choice. And then in the end, you can't choose. And you start watching something. And if after like a minute, it didn't grab you, you already went like, oh, let's go back to the list. There must be something better. Let's go back to the list. There must be something better. And then like five programs or even 10 programs later, you still couldn't, um, you still couldn't concentrate on, on one program. And I'm afraid that's, that's happening to my YouTube consummation as well. I click on, you know, the thumbnail, of course, because it looks interesting. And then after two minutes, not even a minute, you go like, mm, no, not really that interested. Next. And I'm afraid that's what's happening with, with my account as well. People just like, if you don't grab them in the first half, an hour, half a minute even, you lost them. And then you've got the the, well, I don't know if it's a problem, but you've got those clickbaity titles and uh, thumbnails. Again, those people selling their like, oh, how to be successful on YouTube, they're actually telling you to make thumbnails intriguing and titles intriguing. But then you get all these thumbnails and um, titles 
you know, like with shock value, like, oh, I wish I hadn't known about this, or, oh, how could I possibly do that? And, oh, look what happened to me now. And then you click on it and it's actually kind of a boring story. And it just wanted your, you know, your click and that's it. And that's what I don't like about YouTube, to be quite honest. So why? So then the question arises as well, why the hell are you on YouTube? Why are you doing this to yourself? Somebody told me, somebody, somebody pointed out like for an introvert, you're very, very extrovert. And she probably was right, but I, I have to explain this. I, mean, I can't really, I can't really explain it really, but I do well on my own. I do well with the camera here, just talking to you like this, but I don't do well with people face to face or in a crowd. So in that respect, I kind of like YouTube. I can just do my own thing and then wait for it afterwards, which is another negative. Every time you post something like a YouTube clip or a video, you just sit there and wait to see if people comment on it or click on it or like it. And like, that's not, that's not good for your self-esteem if then all of a sudden a video bombs and you think like, oh, what did I do wrong? What should I do? Not good, not good. You know, this country is really, really flat. We're talking about Holland here, the Netherlands. Sorry, I keep on forgetting it's now the Netherlands, but there you go. Hmm. So, oh, what else is negative? No, okay, let's start with the positives because I've been on YouTube now for six months and I have to admit, I have now a couple of followers who make comments and I've, you know, grown to like their comments really. And um, some of them are really funny. Some of them are really, you know, thoughtful. thoughtful. And um, I think with a couple of people, I've already established a sort of a relationship, a friendly relationship, which in that respect, you know, who would have guessed that I have long distance friendships now, thanks to YouTube. So in that respect, I really, really like YouTube. Like I said, I can't really knock it because he's, they, they well, they're not really my employer. Like I said, 35 euros, it's not going to make me rich, but at least it's doing something for my self-esteem, you know, must be doing something right. Because otherwise, why would they, you know, put like ads in my video? And in the meantime, I'm just cruising Europe, I'm trying to find ways of entertaining you and i want it to be a natural way of entertaining not the clickbaity thing where you go like oh i had a knock at the door at night and i wasn't allowed to park there and blah 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 i really hate those contents but to be quite honest every time i see a video pass through and let's be honest YouTube are pushing those videos, um, they get like 100,000 views. So, you know, people must be liking that kind of content. So I'm still a bit uh, worried, not worried. I'm still a bit, hmm, I'm still not sure what kind of content I'm supposed to be making. And then people go like, well, make the content that you want to make. Well, if you're really, really honest, what kind of person, let's ask this question because you're a consumer. But what kind of a person would pick up the camera every minute of the day to film themselves doing something? That's a specific kind of person, isn't it? And that's not back to the introvert or extrovert. I think that's more like a exhibitionist. I'm not, I'm not really sure I am an exhibitionist, although some of you will point out like, well, you take your shirt off in every video. So I think you're an exhibitionist, but it is weird taking pictures or you know filming yourself doing doing mo mundane things everyday things um why why would you do that voluntarily and why would you want to broadcast that to the world what what is the return and, and I'm, I'm, that's where the jury is still out for me as well is what's the 
what's the return? I'm not the financial return, of course. I'm not selling anything. I don't have a book. I don't have a product. I just have me, and this is what you get. Oh, there's, there's little Dean there. Yes, Dean. Um, Dean is the van, by the way, just in case you stumble across this channel and uh, have no idea who I am and who is this man rambling. I shouldn't call it coffee on Thursdays anymore, should I? I just should call it Jack's Ramblings. Um, so where was I? <laughs> What's the future? What does the future bring for me with this channel? I would like to just record what my day-to-day -day life is like living in a van cruising through Europe because to be honest most of the channels I find are in, in America or uh, well yes basically in America or in the UK and this is mainland mainland Europe as we call it so um, so maybe that's just a different view I don't think I have tips maybe I should start uh, making tips I'm not much of a cook so I, I really cannot um, recommend you any recipes or whatever but if you would like i can just show you a day-to-day -day life you know what i eat what i make what coffee i drink how i get up how i keep myself busy because let's be honest sometimes van life can be bloody boring too i mean it's lovely here honestly look at this look at this i'm all alone all alone and that's fun like for half an hour, it's fun for an hour, it's maybe fun for a day, but then you want to see people again. So I'll be heading into a town soon just to see people and go to a gym and all that. But uh, yeah, these were my ramblings about YouTube. What's it all about? Does it make people happy? Does it make you as a viewer happy, I wonder? Do you get joy out of watching other people's lives because i mean that's what we are doing isn't it those van lifers with their vlog style um content it's just like we're just giving you a glimpse into our lives is that what you like is that what you find enjoyable um is that what you're envious of is that what you aspire to i wonder really i just love the peace and quiet of it all meanwhile i'm rambling on i know but still so yeah that's uh, my youtube uh, six month anniversary video for you um write me a comment if you if you think i'm doing a good job and if i should uh, continue and don't write well you can of course write you can write whatever you want to but uh, a lot of people always say like well you bloody well do what you your little heart cont contents. What your little heart contents? Is that what they say in English? <sighs> well, I think I'm grown up enough to, to, to know that, yes, I can still do whatever I want to do. Uh, it's just like, you know, I don't want to do it in vain. I, wanna, I want people to enjoy what I do and what I talk about. So there you go. It's that day. There you go. That's, that's it in a nutshell for my Thursday ramblings. I'm gonna call it Thursday ramblings, let's be honest here, because that's all I do. I ramble about life, the universe and everything. And this week it was about YouTube. Does it make you happy? Does it make me happy? Does it make me rich? The answer is no. Does it have to make you rich? Ah, that's a different question. Or maybe it makes me rich in, uh, you know, connecting with you people out there. Because I do really appreciate that. Appreciate is probably the wrong word because that sounds so non-committal. But I really, really enjoy every Sunday when I post like the, the travel vlog videos, when I, I read the comments that are coming in Sunday evening and Monday. I really, really enjoy reading those because that makes me feel like a, a little connection to that you are really following my stories and, and people pick up on, you know, my story throughout the video. So um, I can only thank, I cannot really thank you enough for those. So wrapping up this beautiful day in the north of the Netherlands, I'm kind of at the North Sea close to the German border here. 
got a beautiful flower bed. Well, I have to turn around here because this beautiful flower bed. Can, I see, can you see that? Oops, there you go. I mean, it is stunning here and very, very peaceful. So the ramblings should stop. <laughs> Let's put it that way. The ramblings should stop there. Where's Dean? Where's Dean? Where's Dean when you need him? I think he's over there, isn't he? All lonely, only lonely. There you go. Okay, well, thank you for spending some time with me. I hope, what do I hope? What I hope, what do I hope for? Do I hope for more subscribers? I'm not really sure. Do I hope for more views? Yes, that would be nice, really. I, I'm, I'm more for the meaningful connection with my viewers, not just numbers for numbers, but people that really are invested in you and in your journey or in my journey for, the, for, for that case. So um, I hope you, you know, jump on board and follow me throughout the next couple of months. I've been saying for months now that I'm on my way to Denmark and to Norway and Sweden. Well, we're getting closer, slowly but steadily, we're getting closer. I definitely don't want to be there for winter. I want to be there for still for summer and, and, and early autumn. So um, come along and uh, join me for that trip to Scandinavia. Sunday will be another vlog uh, about my, I keep on saying that, my second part of my Berlin vlog, and then we'll take it from there. Thanks for spending some time with me and I will see you soon. Take care for now. Bye.